Okay, chapter 9. Shard. The last chapter. Pretty much the only one done at night. Down here, you won't be able to get in that door on the left. For whatever reason, be it broken or or what, I don't know exactly. It's probably, I think it's broken. Sparks indicate it's broken. You turn that. Get in here. Musical stop. Right about now. And go to the door. It's all good. Go through the door. Go through the next door. Under here. Press the <clears throat> You get pit pretty badly threatened there, and it's possible to do that on hard. It is a lot more difficult, and you will probably have to go through it a number of times trying to do it on hard, but it is possible. Okay, now up here you're about to meet Miller. You're about to get beaten up. Yeah. Good work. Check her. Gonna shoot me too. What's pretty badass is his dual wielding. Right now your case best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Pirandella Kruger. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Hope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Rope burn? Yes. You were right about him. I tried to get answers myself. But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where they've taken Kate. I'll contact you when it's safe. I'll hold them off. The roof. Go. Now. Okay, this is great. Um, loads of guys. You don't need to kill any of them, bar this one. Which you need to land on. Then, run over here. Press this button. Try not to get shot too many times. Duck under here. Wait for a little bit. Maybe. Five, ten seconds. Then run out. Before you're killed, run in here. Press the button. Okay. Woo! <sighs> now, you'll notice that there's a hatch in the ceiling. And that there's this other thing that aren't in most elevators. This button's also in a different place. This elevator is considerably different. Why is that? Because in a minute, this elevator's gonna break down, and you're gonna need to press this button to open that hatch to climb out. Now, I don't like all the elevators, however, there is one elevator later on, which is pretty cool. You'll know it when you see it. Any moment now, it'll break down, and you have to press the button. Any moment now. Any time now. Come on. What about... There you go, see? Now. Are you reading me? I'm in the security room, tracking you on the cameras. Get out of the elevator, they come heard them say you're in the elevator. Ouchie! 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 Now. I know this is possible. To drop it. There you go. I just like to be careful here because if you die, you die. Okay. 
you can try and wall run across that. I, I never bother trying to wall run across this wall here um, because it almost never works for me and it just wastes my time. But it is possible, I've seen it done. So don't be discouraged if you fancy trying to get a really good time because I'm, I'm sure it will knock a couple of seconds off. You also have to be careful where you land because those bars sometimes they will just land you in places where you die, which is also kind of annoying. And also try not to be stupid and completely not jump in the air. Sorry. There was one of the issues being that here it's quite dark, it's quite difficult to see. You just sort of have to hope that you're doing the right thing. Oh yes, it is this way. No, it's not. But here's a little fun Easter egg and a bag. I have no idea what this November thing is. But... Yeah. It's kind of like a, uh, a portal, the cake is a lie thing. Of course. I hope I'm not going back on myself. Ow. No, I'm not going back on myself. This is the way out. I see you now. There's a sniper team guarding this area. You can get back in on the other side. Be careful, Pete. Oh, missed. Missed again. Not that you needed to be told that I missed, because that was shocking. It'll almost always shoot you there. In here. And through here, on the right, there's a black elevator door. Restricted area, which means you can't go in here. But we're going to go in here anyway because it's fun. Coolest elevator in the whole game for this one bit. I love this bit. Now of course there's a helicopter that flies past you. See how fast you're going up and look at how fast this helicopter goes past you, right? He's going up pretty fast. As is this elevator, it has to be said. This elevator is going pretty fast too. I said it would take ages if it wasn't going that fast. Yep, what do you do? Now let's run. Let's try this. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and not use slow mo on this guy so I can use slow mo to kill the guy behind him. Ow! Wait, no! What? what, what? Okay.
Ow, 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 ow. All the core bangs have failed, you don't need to worry about killing the rest of them. Through here. Okay. Now, through the open door, up the stairs, climb over a little bit in here. Okay, we're pretty much in the clear for the end of the game. In here. You have to watch this cutscene. You, you cannot skip this cutscene. It makes... it's impossible. But it turns out it was Jackknife the whole time. Jackknife. You couldn't Attitudes like that. That's Kate, your sister. Well, that's exactly you might not know that because I skipped in the walkthrough earlier. When Let's you actually see her like properly in the for the first time. <laughs> Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without Pope, and without the runners, your clients, those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. Then this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still. You did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. You can't live on the edge all your life, Fate. Sooner or later, you have to jump. Oh, it's clever because as you said jump, the little bar went red. Of course, if you were playing on hard difficulty, you wouldn't have noticed that. These guys are suddenly behind you and you're like, oh no. But don't try and kill them. It's always your trying time get time trying to kill them because it is impossible. Just jump. Boom. He's dead. And then just everything starts to go wrong. Now this bit I find slightly ridiculous. Although I'm not saying I don't it's the wrong thing to do, but she managed to fall out and somehow managed to grab onto the edge. And you save her. It's all good. The only thing I don't get is that when she pulls you, when you pull her arm, they stand at the edge, and they have a bit of a hug. Were that me, I'd be so traumatized by the fact that I nearly fell off a building that high. I'd be like, I, I need to get away from the edge. I need to get inside. I need to get down to the normal ground, please. Great piece of music, though. And I will leave you with the credits. Thank you very much for walking the, watching this walkthrough. Subscribe if you will. That would be very nice. And have a nice day.
brazen terrorist attack at the Shard has left nine people dead and many more injured. According to a Callahan staff member, a security breach led to a series of catastrophic outages in the Shard's many public protection systems, causing havoc not just at the Shard, but throughout the city. The suspects in the act are none other than the former CPF officer and accused murderer Kate Connors and her sister Faith Connors. Although the scope and precise cause of the outages is as yet unclear, many troubling questions have emerged in their wake, including the role of the so-called runners in the destabilization of city operations. In the aftermath of the incident, local security firm Pirandello Kruger will be assisting the CPF. PK and the mayor's office have also recommended mobile phone and email be used sparingly until additional security measures have been deployed, as their security has been temporarily compromised. The whereabouts of both suspects are currently unknown.